Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello. This is about my purchase of the Nespresso with the model Essenza Mini. So this is what I purchased and it's very sleek and very small and it's such a space saver. I've been thinking for months about having my own Nespresso machine but I was on the fence about it because I thought would it be a luxury or would it be something that is just a waste because there's there's pods there's coffee pods in this at first I was going to purchase this pixie which makes about 20 cups straight and then after 20 cups you need to give it a rest but I thought I mean I don't need 20 cups like it's just me having my coffee every day so when I saw the Essenza Mini I was really blown away and I love that it has a white color that there's a black here they say it's gray but for me it's a bit black it's not black as black but it's a like maybe a very very dark gray and then there's the body is white there's also a version where you have a full black but I didn't like that because I wanted something like this. And then when I saw this, I thought, hey, why, why do I need to, to purchase the Pixie? And the Pixie costs about 12500 and this is only 6500 And I even purchased it using my credit card, which allows me to pay for it for six months with 0% interest. So I'm just paying about 1000 roughly about 1,100 pesos every month for six months and I get really good coffee every time. I've been using this for about three straight days now and no, no, maybe four straight days and I'm absolutely floored because the taste of the coffee is just amazing. It's like having your own espresso machine but all you needed to do was just press the buttons and that's it. So first thing you need to do is to press the button to turn it on and then when you turn it on these two buttons will light up and it's actually heating up the machine. You need to put in some water in here. This part doesn't really heat up so it's only the machine that's heating up and it will take about 25 seconds. So I'm just going to flush out my coffee pod because something is still in here and I haven't really taken it out yet. So there, it has its a bit of coffee in there. It has like a a basket here, which captures all your used pods, and it can actually accommodate about six pods. So I already have like maybe one, two, three, four pods here. I'm gonna just uh, set this aside. This comes with the machine. So every new purchase you will get an assortment of 14 coffee pods and for me this is already <laughs> not the original assortment because I already uh, replaced some because I already bought my additional ammo for the holidays. I had a combination of some intense coffee, some espressos, some lungos. Lungo is actually an Italian term for long black coffee and I have a bit of an assortment of the decaffeinated, the lungo, the master origin which are the the countries, different country origins. So we have India, I got India, Nicaragua, and Ethiopia. And then for the espresso I pretty much had three variants, the Livanto, Capricio, and the Voluto. And then for the Intenso, I had the Cazar, the Ristretto, the Roma, and the Arpeggio. And I didn't get any of the variations, which were the Caramelito, the Chocatino, and the Vanillo. And that is the reason why I had to go to the concept store, or the boutique store, to purchase my reinforcements for the holidays. Because I was really drawn by the Caramelito. It was really fragrant and while it doesn't have any sugar added or any dairy in it it really smells good and it adds a lot of flavor to it so the first coffee I picked for my very first trial of the Essenza Mini was the Arpeggio and I was really drawn by it because it's very creamy 
and I was impressed that all I had to do was put on one pod and then I'm good to go. I have to wait for the blink to stop. Once it stops blinking, then the machine is ready. It's warm. And then all you need to do is put on this pot. I'm going to choose the Chocotino because it's a bit dented. I dented it somehow, so I need to, to put it. So all I need to do is drop it in here. And it's, it's going to go this way. It's sideways. So it's like this. So you drop it that way. And then there's a bit of a, an effort to push the lever. And sometimes you would think twice about are you actually damaging it or are you doing it right but just have faith <laughs> just push it down like this and then it's ready put your cup and there are two buttons the left button would be for espresso so that's a bit of a stronger version the right button is for the long black coffee I would say it doesn't really have the same effect as a brewed coffee this one is the, like an espresso but a little bit more water. You just uh, press the right button for the long black because I prefer the long black. So it's processing. There you have it. So it only took about maybe 10-15 seconds to create this really beautiful fragrant coffee. And oh my god. It smells like chocolate. This is the variant that I had to purchase in addition. Okay, so in terms of the var variations, you can purchase it at 10 pods per box. So it price is approximately about 31 pesos per pod. And so hence this is about 310 pesos per, per stick. So one stick would give you 10 pods of just one flavor for every purchase of a machine you get 14 pods to choose from and sometimes there are machines that did not include the master origins which are the countries and which include the variations. so that's the difference I got the ones without the variations without the caramelito and the chocotino and the vanilla uh, but I did get the master origins so I pretty much had an idea on what I like. I probably would prefer the stronger coffees as for my experience they're a bit more creamy and they have a very like a lasting effect. Once you try it, it's not too hot and my sister was complaining that her coffee got cold quite easily but in my head it was like when you've already created your cup of coffee you can actually sip it and you don't have any problems of getting burnt so I actually love it it's so perfect the coffee is quite strong so if you're someone who is not used to having a lot of this caffeine you can actually dilute it you can add more water and you can actually flush so since I'm done what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flush the pot and all you need to do is just turn this up and the pot goes back into the basin which is right here so it goes back here for your disposal and then you can press the buttons again and it will just flush out water warm water so that way you can have you can actually in the, you actually cleaned the spout but at the same time you diluted your coffee and another way for you to handle this is to actually purchase the decaffeinated version because there's the ristretto, the arpeggio, the voluto, and the vivalto lungo which are the decaf versions for this so I'm really I'm really glad about this because in just a few presses of like one two buttons I already have like this beautiful coffee that I usually get from a high-end restaurant or from a hotel and this one is very sleek and plus the color is nice I don't really need to serve a lot of coffee for everyone I don't really host a lot of parties at home and this the capacity is 0.67 liters one of my friends have judged me about this and told me that you are actually being very wasteful about your coffee by purchasing the Nespresso. But I thought to myself, I mean, they do have like waste stations. Like they will give you a 
dark bag which is Ziploc and you need to put your pods there and for your next purchase you can bring that bag and then turn it over to them and they will dispose it off for you. So what they do there is they recycle the aluminum pods because they are they claim to have uh, made a 100% recycling process out of this and then the coffee grounds are used as fertilizers so they also say that the coffee grounds are fair trade and then there's another question about them not being available in large supermarkets which was a bit of a pain because for me I went around and there are so many stores selling the machines but not the pods so I went to Rockwell and that's where oh my god it's a haven when I say haven it's like boxes and boxes of coffee pods and all the variants that you can think of I blew my socks off so anyway I went there and this uh, pretty lady actually offered the the recyclable the bag the ziploc bag for me and told me that I can go there and of course if you're not available to go to the boutique store you can purchase online and they will deliver it for you within one to two business days if you ask me I haven't tried it yet because I purchased this in December 29 I think and it was going towards the holidays I'm pretty sure delivery would be out it would not be available and plus delivery happens every business days so you don't expect delivery to happen on a weekend so if you're going to purchase something on a Friday it will arrive to you within Tuesday Monday Tuesday so long as you made the online purchase before 10 a.m. So that's how it works so there you have it if you have more questions you can actually go to the website of Nespresso they have a lot of FAQs there but if you want to leave me a comment it's okay I will try my best to get back to you and share with you my experience about this really wonderful gadget that I had and I really feel like this has been like a late purchase for 2018 going towards 2019 but I feel like I've been a really good girl this year oh in 2018 I have been a really good girl and I kind of like deserve it along with the many other purchases I've had but happy new year everyone I hope that you had a really good celebration and let's get on ahead with another wonderful 52 weeks or 365 days or a full year of really good 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 life career health everything so i wish you well and i hope to see you again come say hi again thanks a lot for watching bye